Hi everyone, welcome back to GA Online Teaching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is GA Online Teaching. You can find the link below. Please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, today we are busy with part 2 of Geometry of Straight Lines and that is the U in fun which stands for Co-Interior Angles. Remember you can only apply fun angles when your lines are parallel. So, let's begin. Co-interior. Let's digest the word. Co means two. Interior means it's at the inside of my set of parallel lines. Remember, on the inside, not the outside. Interior means on the inside. What about those angles are so important? That they add up to 180 degrees. Another way of saying it, that they are supplementary to one another. So let's go into three examples. The first one, very simple. No matter how they look, as long as you know that they are supplementary to one another. So 80 plus what will give me 180 degrees? That is obviously going to be 100. So what's your reason? Co-interior angles equal to 180 degrees. They are supplementary. Let's go on to example number two. So there's my parallel lines. On the inside of them, you'll find x plus 60. You'll have 50. Now, we are going to solve for x, meaning we need to know the rule that says inside of my parallel lines, they are supplementary. So the one angle, no matter how it looks, is x plus 60 plus the other angle, which is 50, must be equal to 180 degrees. So the reason would stay the same. How do I know that? Because co-interior angles equal to 180 degrees. And now what do I see? I see an algebraic x equation, which means what is the unknown over there? x. Alright, so therefore x is equal to 180 minus 50 minus 60 would be equal to x. So 180 minus 50, which is equal to 130. 130 minus 60 would be equal to 70 degrees. So now let's double check my answer. 70 plus 60 plus 50 should be equal to 180 degrees. Now let's solve for y. So therefore, what can you tell me about why it lies on top of my parallel line? This 50 lies on top of my parallel line. There's two ways to do it. And if I go back to last week, I'll know that y and 50 are corresponding to one another. So therefore, you can say y is equal to 50 degrees corresponding angles. Another way to find that out is angles on a straight line. In example number 3, so 3x minus 10 is my one angle, x plus 30 is my second angle. What's the relationship between the two? That they both lie inside of my set of parallel lines. And what do you know? What's the rule? That, that, that it is co-interior to one another, that they add up to 180 degrees. So the way I said it, let's write it down, I said the one angle which is 3x minus 10 plus the second angle, which is x plus 30, must be equal to 180 degrees. So co-interior angles add up to 180. So what do I see? An algebraic equation, which means I need to solve for x. So 3x plus x is 4x, 180 minus 30 plus 10 for x is equal to 180 minus 30 is equal to 150. 150 plus 10 is equal to 160. Therefore, divide by 4 both sides. x is equal to 40. Here we go. And how do I double check it? Substitute by 40 in there, substitute by 40 in there, add them all up together. 
then I will find that it's equal to 180 degrees. So that being said, we are done with co-interior. Next week, we will try to do the last letter in fun, and there's alternate angles. Don't not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.